Uh, Ma'am, I'm ready with you all. May I please the question, Honor? Before you, Mr. Brandon Lamar Bryant. He is here on warrant number 2023-A451010203 on the charge of attempted murder. Your Honor, he is represented by Attorney Tiffany Sutherland. Your Honor, we are here on defense's motion for a bond reconsideration. Bond was originally denied at the magistrate level. So no bond said. That's correct, Your Honor. All right. Uh, you want to go to the facts, please? Oh, yeah, are, it's, um, yeah, it's still in the preliminary stage. Um, we were waiting for the investigating deputy to arrive, and she did not. But we do have a like a one-page PDF narrative. Back on May 1st of 2023, Deputy Miller received a call from dispatch in reference to a shooting incident that occurred at 15 Pine Avenue, which is located in the King Street area of Winsburg County. They were advised that there was a gunshot victim in route to MUSC Black River by the name of James Wall, and that there was one eyewitness. Wall had an obvious gunshot wound to his left leg. The witness began explaining that she received a call from her cousin informing her that her brother James Wall was involved in an altercation with Brandon Bryant over a parking spot at Lucy Shop, which is located at 15 Pine Avenue. She then went to the location and witnessed Bryant arguing with her brother. She advised that Brandon was obviously under the influence of some kind of drug. He began yelling and cursing at James and pulled out a black handgun. She stated that he fired once to the ground and then the firearm jammed. He then cleared the weapon and then fired it to the ground again. Wall then said to Brian, do what you gotta do, I'm not running. Wall then walked inside the shop towards the bar. Brian began yelling, so you think I won't kill you? He then proceeded inside the shop behind Wall and shot him once in the left leg. Brian then walked out of the shop without saying anything further and Wall was transported to MUSC Black River by his sister. Sir, uh, thank you, Your Honor. May it please the court. Judge, procedurally, I'm not positive in speaking with Brandon. I was involved um, initially at the arrest of the initial bond setting. But from what I'm told by Brandon and his family, that the uh, magistrate decided that it should be heard in general sessions. So this, this, I mean, either way, it's being heard before Your Honor. But it may be the case that this is the initial bond setting. So just procedurally, I wanted to get that out there. Um, Judge, he was arrested on May the 3rd. Uh, so that, that would be 28, 29 days in pretrial detention. Um, there was a preliminary hearing on the 17th, uh, the week before last. Uh, the investigating officer actually did not show up for that hearing. Um, you know, no reason was given. You know, no one really knew anything about it. And I made the motion to dismiss for failure to prosecute. Um, I think very kindly, with respect to the state, the, the magistrate continued it. Um, from that point, and so you know, here here we are today. And it's my understanding that the investigating officer is, is nowhere to be seen here today. Um, what I what I can say is that um, this incident, what's alleged here is that Mr. James Wall was shot in the leg on the property of a business that was owned by Brandon's family. Um, Mr. Wall himself does not identify Brandon as committing any crime or committing any act. He doesn't inculpate him in any fashion. Uh, Ms. Felicia Coleman, um, from what I'm understanding and what I'm able to hear in these preliminary stages, is now saying that, well, she said these things because she was angry. Um, you know, these are things that will be investigated over time, the fullness of time and litigation. I do appreciate the solicitor's office um, turning over a summary of this case so that I would have the state side of this thing in my head in addition to what I'm hearing from the people. Um, but, Your Honor, Brandon's family, we have there's a lot of people here, but if y'all could just stand up. I told them that um, I told them that I could take care of the speaking today. That, you know, I would do all the speeches. Thank you, thank you very much. Um, he's got substantial community ties. Um, his ties are all here. Um, you know, his family members are here. That that business, that the alleged incident location. Um, you know, financial ties to the community. And um, your honor, if what's alleged took place, we're talking about an altercation where uh, between two people where one individual was shot in the leg. Um, because I know danger to the community is an aspect of this. Um, this is between two people. This wasn't pointed in the general direction of other people in the community. I understand the argument that like, well, a bullet could ricochet, you know, off of something and hit someone else. But with respect to the danger that is alleged here, um, the danger is alleged towards the alleged victim and towards no one else. Um, so he has 
really strong community ties, business ties to the community. Um, his family's all here, his, his people are all here. And um, I'd ask the court to consider while we move through the litigation, and I'm able to get with Ms. Cooper and to you find out if indeed she is saying that, well, I was just mad, that's why I said those things about him. Um, if he could be out in the community, out on bond with his family, if he could be working um, while I investigate, I understand the solicitors get the case jacket together at the same time that I'm trying to get it from him. And you know, I'm not, not coming down on him. I mean, it's, it's, it's a process here. Mm -hmm. But um, I would hope that Brandon could be out on a reasonable surety bond. We're not asking for the moon. Um, and then he and I can prepare and defend this case throughout the course of litigation, Your Honor. Who's your question? Victor. Yes, sir. Victor University being complied with. Um, the victim, Mr. James Walsh, stated he did not want to be present for any preliminary matters upon hearings. Okay. Does he work, sir? Yes, sir. You, you do uh, work. Yes, yes, sir. And he's got family with businesses in the area. He's this is one of the locations. Prior. Yes, yes, sir. No prior. Okay. Does he live with his family? Yes, sir. All right. Based on those factors, set a surety bond of fifteen thousand dollars. No contact with the victim whatsoever. Even if the victim calls him and wants to see him, no contact. Not the owner possess any firearms in the of this bond. Shall not leave South Carolina without court approval. All right, thank All you, right. sir. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you.